look better. Hey, B. Hey. What's going on? Just checking out the garden, looking, seeing what everything is doing, what needs attention. I've been, I've been slacking. I need to get a video out. You want to give us to it? Yeah. What do you got? Um, look how good these these tomatoes look. These are the um, Cherokee dwarf, Cherokee purple dwarf tomatoes. And I was supposed to have 25 of them, but I ended up with uh, 30. I haven't moved the mulch yet because I was going to try to plant some companion plants in here. I just haven't gotten around to it. Like what? What do you need to plant? Um, I had some herbs that I was going to put in there, but I ended up putting them like oregano and something else. The wind is awful today. Okay, well, then what's I've got the next aisle? Uh, this is Brussels sprouts. Oh, those look good. And lettuce. And lettuce. There's some herbs in there. Some rosemary. That sage. I noticed that some of your lettuce are going to seed. Are you doing that on purpose or you just haven't gotten to it? Um, some I haven't gotten to, but some of them I am trying. There's one down here I'm trying to get. I'm going to harvest seeds off of that. There's some oregano. Okay. What's in this room? These are some water. beans. Yeah, I'm going to water. I filled up the water just now. That's spearmint and beans. We're missing. Oh, look. So they're still coming up. Those are California Wonder. Yeah. And why do you, why did you plant California Wonders versus what everything else? We use a lot of bell peppers, and I like the California Wonders will turn their green and red. I have some yellow mixed in there, so I'll hopefully get the three different colors. And you said these were chives. Those are chives, mm -hmm. and I have parsley. Something was digging in there. The companion plants will help with the pests from the other plants. Holy moly, what do you got here? This is a What do you do with them? Eat them. Sometimes you take them to the chickens, don't you? Yeah. Chickens, I just pull them off and kill them. These are potatoes. There's an onion growing in there. You can see the different yeah. colors of the potatoes. You guys remember from a previous video, I said she just cannot let a plant that's coming up go. Uh, Look, there's white flowers on the potatoes. There's pink flower. Different types. Okay. That all looks pretty good. Purple flowers. 
Hey, look at that with the light on right there. Yeah, that's an everyday occurrence. That's one thing, so like pests, they want to eat too. Okay, what you got here in the next row? I know. These are Anaheim peppers and jalapeno peppers. And then the. What are these? Those are Roma tomatoes. Huh? They're getting healthier. How many Romas did you find? 35. Hmm? 35 Roma. Alright. Should we go check out your other garden, the next garden? Yeah. Come on. I gotta come back here and pluck those. Along the fence, the raspberry, red raspberry. Hey, you want to see something I found? I was trying to mow in here and I found a asparagus, asparagus patch. There. And there. Oh. Free food. These are Amish paste from the Buffalo Seed Company. I was supposed to end up with 50 plants, but I got 66. So 80 feet bed, 66 plants. This is cabbage and onions. I got a wormwood plant here to help companion plant the cabbage. I have little heads in there. See them? Got green cabbage, couple purple cabbage to add color to my ferments, um, cauliflower, broccoli, I think there's red onion and, or no, not red onion, the yellow and the white onion are here. Then I have nothing here yet. I was in the process of watering my cucumber. This is cilantro. This is what I was doing. I was watering the peppers and the cucumbers. The cucumbers will grow up over the trellis and the bell peppers will just stay right on, on the edge, about three feet tall. I actually have peppers on here. So I have two trellises of cucumbers and bell peppers together. Some are national pickling cucumbers and the other is Boston pickling, I believe. This trellis is empty. Um, I need to do squash or zucchini somewhere, so I think I'm going to do that here. 
This one I just planted loofah and beans, dry beans. The beans are from the Buffalo Seed Company. It was a variety of, of, of colors. I can't wait to see what that looks like. Um, then this bed has nothing in it. We're gonna, I'm gonna put the tobacco in it as soon as it's ready to come outside. They're just a, <clears throat> like a, a little half inch tall right now. So they're not ready to come out. A deer walked through here. Look at that. You can see its tracks. This bed is my peanuts. You can see they're actually coming up. Here's a... I've only watered this one time. Today was the first time I've ever watered it. Um, they've been in the ground for two weeks, I think now. This is corn. I was going to do the three sister garden, but I ended up planting the beans on the trellis with the loofahs. So I'm not sure what else. Um, Nancy from the Buffalo Seed Company was talking about sending me some cow peas. So I might try to do cow peas underneath the corn, depending upon how many seeds I end up getting from her. But the corn is coming up. You can see the actual rows, looks good. And then along this back fence, I have the, the wheat from the Buffalo Seed Company. Some of this is grass. They told me that to wait and pluck the grass until I could see which is which because it looks so close to one another. This one here is a wheat because you could see how the three prongs, the three leaves are coming out and it makes a little clump. This right here is grass, you can tell, has pink at the bottom and it's only one shoot. So it's just so, so hard to tell the difference between what is what. That's, um, oh, and then she gifted me some grape escape tomatoes. So they're gonna be the size of grapes. And she brought me 10 plants of those. So I planted them along this back fence and those are actually coming up too. Here's the name of it right here, please. The Great Escape, Great Escape. I had found another another asparagus. This is supposed to be a mulberry tree, a white mulberry tree, but it doesn't have any fruit on it yet. But I'll take you over and show you my purple mulberry. all the fruit on the floor you can tell what a waste I could come and pick it up I guess can you hold it can you see it how perfect free food jam jelly pies um this tree was obviously here when we bought the property this is why we picked this area for the garden um they had a a fence coming right through here. We ended up having to cut the pipe from the fence to get 
through this area and it just grew right up into into the tree the tree just grew around the fence and now it's part of my garden free food we just have to pick it up process it all right boss lady tree is that? Apple. Apple tree. Okay. What do you got up here? These are poppies. The, the uh, root systems are so delicate you have to clip the plants that are next to it instead of pulling them. Okay. But there's... What's in these cages? Lavender. Lavender? Okay, there's lavender. All right. Lavender, poppy. These are cosmos. There's six rows of cosmos, which are also medicinal. Here I've got four different types of yarrow. Peppermint, which needs water. What's up with this apple tree? It looks like you're growing a stick. This is supposed to be an apple tree. Oh. This is okay. oregano. Oregano. Okay. Oh, look. So see the comfrey that's next to that. This is an apple. strawberries if I could keep the deer out of them. Strawberries and lemon thyme grow well together. Also with horseradish. Horseradish Man, and strawberries horseradish. go good. That horseradish is on fire. It likes it there, doesn't it? Yes, I just planted this last fall. So yeah. I had eight roots that I planted. Well, if, you, if the strawberries don't go good, that'd be a good place to spread out your horseradish, right? Because apparently it likes it. Okay. These are just apple trees right here. I pulled them. Cherry trees. I'm sorry, yes, cherry. Okay. Four cherry, dwarf cherry. What are you going to plant there? Um, I'm going to do watermelon in this bottom row. And I will have, if, ha if I need another row, I'll use this one because there's nothing okay. else planted in this except for those cherries. Okay. Thank you. 
This is two cherry trees. And um, honeydew. Oh, honeydew. I like honeydew. Uh, different lavender. This is lavender grosso. Different kind. Just, just a different species of lavender. This is um, pump, um, cantaloupe. I think there's nine cantaloupe there. Oh, look. Mushroom. Elderberry row. I've got nine elderberries. Something keeps eating them off, so I tried to trellis them up. This is uh, St. John's wort. Elderberries. Oh, um, echinacea. Echinacea and curry, which is heliochrysum. Echinacea. Oh, gooseberry. Gooseberry goes well, grows well with echinacea and elderberry. Those have thorns. You guys notice these swells are all pointed in a particular direction and they're designed to flow the water in a zigzag pattern down this hill all the way down into this top pond which ultimately then ends up into my other pond but let's go check out your asparagus patch Bruh, this is yucca yucca oh i do have a yucca up there that has a flower coming out of it see it well, you got strawberries all over down here well, they're just not. So something keeps coming up and plucking them right up. I keep planting them back in. But yeah, these are strawberries. They're just not doing so good because I keep popping them and them back in. If anybody out there has any good solutions how to get them to stop pulling them up out of the ground, let us know without caging each individual strawberry because there's, there's a lot of them in there. What else you got to show us? Oh, I've got rhubarb. No, oh, no. It's very Looks like it's a little path of doobie and pick. Yeah, this is just the second year for this. I wanted to go to seed, so it's not. I had the something come up and dig. Yeah, chickens. So what do you got? What do you got left as far as to put in the garden? Splash and zucchini. What's this right here? Um, I thought that that was an elder or a goji berry. I had a cage around it. I planted goji berries here, but my Google machine said that that's not a goji berry. So I was tending it, and it was not what I thought it was. <laughs> and down this row, right down here going to plant um, a couple big long lines of grapes, right? Yeah. And other berries. This is going to be berry row. We just haven't gotten to it yet. That's what it will be. So basically over there behind the super bee, you've got garden one. There you've got garden two. Behind us, there's probably on this side about 50 fruit trees and then all of the swells. Um, she plants all kinds of stuff in. We're just going to keep on expanding. Eventually berry row here at some point. And maybe I can use this as a swell too. Yeah. If I can clean it up. I don't know what's in there. Well, if Danny and Wanda get their way, there'll be a little down in there at some point. I've already got a spot picked out.
All right, any parting words? Um, garden like you're hungry. Yeah, that's great advice. See you, B. I gotta get busy. I do too. Thank right. you.